I'm Jeff Higgins from Higgins Storm Chasing. Okay, in this video forecast video update, we will look at severe thunderstorms and possible supercells for southeast Queensland, central Queensland, and northern Queensland districts um, for both Friday and Saturday. If we take a look at the live weather zone radar update currently, it is 7:30 p.m. on the 28th of the 1st, 2016, which is Thursday evening. You can see that thunderstorms developed over the Darling Downs earlier on this afternoon. Uh, I don't think they've been severe warned yet, not that I'm, I know of, but there have been reports of heavy rain, frequent lightning and some strong winds in them. I think most, the most um, heaviest activity was through Highfields region there. Okay, this, this activity is moving through towards the east overnight. Areas from Brisbane south over the southeast coast are just likely to see some light rain and showers. However, the thunderstorm activity is pushing towards uh, regions like Caboolture, uh, Woodford, possibly onto the Sunshine Coast later on. We'll have to see what that does. And there's a few storms out here through northern Darling Downs as well. Okay, let's move on to tomorrow's forecast. Uh, this is via the Higgins Storm Chasing Premium Membership. So if you head over to higginsstormchasing.com and become a premium member, you can get access to these maps all year round. Tomorrow, the map paints the pretty picture. We have supercells possible. Severe storms are likely. We are under an extreme risk right through, well, even down into northeast New South Wales or northern New South Wales parts are under high risk. Southeast Queensland is under an extreme risk. That's all major locations extending up into central Queensland, and I'll get to that in, in, in a minute how far that goes, but certainly Rockhampton South. Um, supercells are possible, damaging to destructive winds. Now, the destructive winds would most likely be in supercells. Again, large hail up to eight centimetres is possible in supercells. We could get large hail to four centimetres just in standard um, severe thunderstorms. Heavy rain, flash flooding, and frequent lightning. That's our extreme risk and our high risk. In our high risk regions, we, we drop the, the very large hail and, and the supercells out, but you can see that, that most of southeast Queensland is painted and central Queensland is painted with extreme risk. If I scroll down to our, our general Queensland map here, you can see that this extreme risk goes up to there just north of Rockhampton to between Mackay and Rockhampton. So Mackay, yes, you're yeah, still under an ex, uh, a high risk, sorry, for damaging winds and heavy rain, which may lead to flash flooding. And obviously many of these intense storms have frequent lightning. We believe that these systems will develop inland and then track towards the coast as the afternoon and evening progresses. That's for Friday. Let's move down here and have a look at Saturday. We didn't show this in uh, last night's video, but we've also updated Saturday's maps. We were waiting for the latest information to become available. And it now also seems that Saturday, we are under an extreme risk um, for potential supercells. Severe thunderstorms are likely for central Queensland and southeast Queensland as well. You can see it's, the area slightly shifts towards the east. Um, through southeast Queensland, but it certainly extends through central Queensland there. And again, large hail, damaging, destructive winds, heavy rain, very frequent lightning. If I move on to central Queensland and northern Queensland districts, this is for Saturday. You can see that the extreme risk remains in fairly much the same cutoff point there between Rockhampton and Mackay, with a high risk further north. Now, just remember, guys, we do produce these maps off our own computer model data and study. Um, it consists of a lot of information. We don't just pull it from any one model. But if you want to take a look at one particular model, this is uh, over here from BSCH. This is the GFS model. And, and these guys have an automated thunderstorm forecast map. Um, you can see that areas here in red are possibly severe for Friday. All right. And then you have storms likely, storms possible. Um, if we scroll on and have a look at Saturday, you can also see that Saturday is heavy, heavy with um, severe potential there as well on the automated generated maps there. Okay, so why? Let's have a look. Oh, sorry, that's, um, that's north and central Queensland as well for Friday. You can see again, um, possibly severe right through 
uh, coastal regions of, of eastern, central and northern Queensland there. And if we scroll on to Saturday, you can also see that the potential remains up there. If you want to ask me about su uh, Sunday, we're not prepared to lock it in yet. There's still a little bit of 50-50 going on with forecast models. However, we'll get to that in good time. The important thing is, is that everyone is prepared for at least Friday and Saturday at this stage. Okay, so let's move on and have a look at the instability charts. Okay, this is called lifted index, your instability, the amount of lift that's in the atmosphere. And this is at 1 p.m. on Friday. Obviously, the higher these negative numbers go, the higher the amount of lift that's in the atmosphere, which generates uh, thunderstorms and or severe thunderstorms and supercells. You can see that anywhere in the dark blue and purple shaded areas is uh, very high instability. Okay, I won't delve into it too much, but these are some of the models and some of the charts, not all, these are just a couple um, that we use for our forecasting. That's 4 p.m. So you can see areas uh, northern New South Wales, southeast and central Queensland just painted there um, with very high instability levels. If we scroll on to, to Saturday at 1 p.m., this, this held a question mark for quite some time for southeast Queensland districts. However, now models are suggesting that the surface trough, I'll show you that shortly, remains inland, doesn't push off the coast. So again, anywhere east of that surface trough, you have this very high instability. And obviously 4 p.m. is your peak, peak time for heat and instability. And you can see there, central and southeast Queensland will be under the pump there. Okay, let's move on and have a look at the winds. Now, winds will mark out We'll mark out here on, on these wind level updates. We'll mark the surface trough and the steering winds. Okay, so this is Friday at 4 p.m. You can see the surface trough or the estimated position of the surface trough from Emerald about to Room, stretching through probably their western Darling Downs to Gundawindi. All areas to the east of this surface trough will have high humidity and high instability. It'll be hot, sticky and muggy. Um, you can see ahead of it, the warm, moist northerlies feeding in off the ocean and behind it you have dry westerlies coming through and that's what we look for. Again, 4 p.m., um, these are the steering winds up a little bit higher, say around about five to 10,000 feet. These winds here determine what direction the thunderstorm moves in general. So you can see here they're coming from the west, northwest. So anything that does develop out here on the Darling Downs or in through Tarum and Emerald will be pushed towards the coast at 30 knots, so at about 50 to 60 kilometres an hour. If they develop a couple of hundred k's inland here, give them three hours and they'll be on the coast, okay? If we punch through now to Saturday, these are the steering winds on Saturday. Um, you can see they actually increase through southern Queensland, but that's in behind the trough, the trough's to the east, but you still have good steering winds um, through, through central and southern Queensland there on Saturday. The surface trough edges towards the coast, but it's still over land, so we're still sort of emerald to room, but then through southeast Queensland, it's either through Dolby and the Central Downs or pushing through towards Brisbane and the Gold Coast, anywhere east of that, severe thunderstorms, possible supercells. Uh, we'll move on now to OCF. This particular model here, again, it, it's worked through BSCH. It's raw data from the bomb that that is delivered across a number of models. We study all this sort of stuff very hard before delivering public forecasts, that way we are more accurate. Um, these are the maximum temperatures on Friday. So you can see here, it's going to be very hot and sticky through Southeast Queensland, uh, up to 35 there around Gat, 34 Brisbane, uh, 34 Gympie inland here, you know, Toowoomba 30, 31, the Downs is boiling up and Central Queensland is getting quite hot. The only thing that would hinder or, or, or kind of lessen, if you like, severe thunderstorm and supercell activity on Friday, which is tomorrow, is any sort of uh, cloud cover. We'll have to watch. Obviously, every one degree in temperature here matters when it comes to a storm day. At this stage, I'm looking at the satellite picture on my other screen, and I can see that the, 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 there is cloud pushing through with this rain and thunderstorm tonight, but it will clear to the coast. We should get some, some sunny breaks and sunny weather tomorrow morning, which will really steam things up ahead of the, the development of the showers and thunderstorms. If we move on to this same map, now this is for tomorrow, this is Friday, and this is the number of percentage of models that are forecasting precipitation. So you can see there 100%. All the models are, are confident. 
that precipitation will occur from about Emerald to Tarum to Gundawindi and even down to Moree East. All right. The rainfall amounts, they're going to vary. This is conservative. General areas from 5, 10 up to 15 mil. If you're under a thunderstorm, you could get 50. That's basically how that works, but it's showing you there the general amount of rainfall that is forecast through northeast New South Wales and southeast and central Queensland. If we move on to Saturday, Saturday's activity is expected to produce a bit more rain here, 25 mils, and again, um, any of these thunderstorms that develop could easily double or triple that. Out here at Mitchell last night, we saw 18 hours worth of thunderstorms develop. They broke their all-time record for January daily record, and I think they picked up about 160 mil um, overnight or yesterday overnight, and then there's been isolated reports of 200. Um, so just goes to show you what some of these thunderstorms can do if they um, hang around over a particular area. Let's have a look here at the temperatures again on Saturday, hot and sticky, 30s, 32s, up to 35s on the downs there, surface trough lying through the interior, um, humid conditions to its east generating thunderstorms. I don't think I went any further than that. Oh, yep. Um, here we have, again, we have the percentage of models on Saturday forecasting rainfall 100% for southeast Queensland, central Queensland. So very, very confident models at this stage. Um, obviously, I will point out, I will go back to our maps and I'll point out and I'll show you a few things. We obviously cop a fair bit of slack when we put out these forecasts. Oh, I didn't get it or he didn't get it or something like that. But I will point out that on these forecasts, these are to be used to forewarn and forearm yourself. This is potential thunderstorm development. Let's say the Gold Coast gets it and just up the road at Jacob's Well misses out. Okay, that's the way Mother Nature rolls. Sometimes we do get a huge line of thunderstorms that come through and hits everyone, but your supercells are going to be, tend to be isolated. They might shift, might go from Warwick through Boonabo Desert and then peter out, or it might track a little bit to the north. You know, you just have to be on high alert with days like, like Friday and Saturday. Obviously, Saturday is, is equally as strong. Um, we don't get a, a great deal of these types of forecasts. So when, when the potential is shown on our maps, on our, our forecast models and maps, that's why we put these forecasts out. They'd be different if it happened every second day. You'd tone it down a little bit and, um, and people would be used to it. But, but this is probably ranks in now the top three over the past 12 months storm setups for severity. So that's why we're pushing out to the extreme risks and, and to get people aware and prepared. All right, so please do that tomorrow. Anyone that, that's living in northeast New South Wales, southeast Queensland, central Queensland, and parts of northern Queensland, prepare for thunderstorm activity. Please tie your trampolines down. Some of these trampolines are up to a thousand bucks worth, and it just takes a couple of tent pegs and ropes from Bunnings to tie a trampoline down that will otherwise end up down the street or in your neighbour's yard ruined. Um, if you're travelling, pull over on the side of the road. If you're impacted by a severe thunderstorm, pull over onto the side of the road, and put your hazard lights on, and don't park under trees and power lines if possible. It's dangerous. If they fall down, they're going to crush you. Um, obviously, also be very, very careful outside with lightning. Seek shelter. We don't mind photos coming into page, but we hate seeing them from people standing out in the middle of a paddock. That's kind of leave, leave that up to, up to us. And then if we get struck, people will go, oh, you were idiots or something like that. But um, just be careful tomorrow, guys. And that's about all I've got to say. We'll continue to update forecast videos as required. We'll push them out to Sunday. We'll do them tonight. Uh, they'll be updated tomorrow. And just remember, guys, you can head over to higginsstormchasing.com, become a premium member and get these maps all year round right across Australia. Storm, snow, heat wave, fire, you name it. We pump out, we, we generate these maps on a daily basis for significant weather. All right, thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting Higgins Storm Chasing, and we'll be out chasing tomorrow through southeast Queensland districts. I, myself, and Sarah and Tora will be working from Brisbane, Esk, Kingaroy to Gympie in that pocket up there. It's a fair bit of area to cover. Stay safe and see you soon.